Yo, I tell you what, it is hot, it is humid, and it may rain in 30 minutes, but it feels good to be back in Saigon. One of the first cities I ever fell in love with here in Vietnam, and every time I come back, oh, it's just like a flashback down memory lane. Anyway, today I'm actually in an area I've never really explored. We're in Penh Ben, up here by the airport. What I do is I got three eateries that I want to try, and I've wanted to try, and I've been meaning to get here and eat, but I've just had too much other good food, and I haven't made it. But since we're back here in Saigon and I was up by the airport, I decided to go ahead and check out this area. Definitely been wanting to try these things out for a while. Got a unique hope that long. I got a durian sticky rice, which I've had on my radar for a very long time, and a newly found out bowl that's just full of so much delicious ingredients. I'm super excited. I'm hungry, and we're actually walking up on the first place right now. Let's get it. Hope long chain, long way home. Long way. And that's how we do it. We get here as soon as they open up. I had to bring my table out, get my chair ready to go. You see her, she's cutting the whole bit long open. She's about to coat it in that batter and fry it up. I will be why. See that getting that beautiful brown color? You hear the oil frying it up. Oh, maybe because it's later in the day, or maybe just that sound, but I'm hungry. Uh, and it's here, she just opened up, feels good. Not Mohang, not the first person, but we get very close to being the first person. That batter is absolutely beautiful, fried up to a crispiness. You heard it when you broke into it, and then she's putting the mom meh over it. There's gonna be that tamarind sauce. Do yeah. what you get that, get you a spoonful, and get after it. It's gone quiet. That is like no hope but long I've had before. You're really just getting a lot of that tamarind sauce. It's such an intense, sour, sweet tamarind flavor. Then you're crunching into the actual outside that's been fried. The inside is just more of just the texture, the meatiness, the heartiness part of it. You're not getting much of the actual whole bit long flavor. You definitely need some drink after that. That is sweet. Ah, I'm sweet with a sweet drink. Oh, everything fell out that time. Had to restuff the fried part. You can see I got the raw ram this time. I got some of her little salt and pepper mixture. Mm. I tell you what, if you did like a one biter with this, you did not look inside, you would never guess it's whole bit long. The flavor's not there because there's so much fried, there's so much of that intense, whoa, sweet tamarind sauce that you can't really get all the other flavors. Apparently this is a sauce up meal. They give you the sweet chili as well. I do not know why you would need that. Because that tamarind sauce is strong enough. Mm. I didn't even know I really ate whole bit long. It did not taste like it at all because the tamarind sauce is so pungent, so sour, and so sweet. It's the main serve of the show. The way it soaks into that fried batter crunchy, flavor packed. Very local, very friendly people. Uh, talk to me a lot and I talk back as much as I can, but if you just love sweet and sour tamarind sauce and fried things, go try that out. You won't know you're eating Hope It Long, trust me. Wow, great little snack. Um, good start to the day for sure, but let's keep it moving and let's keep the sweet theme going. <laughs> let's go ahead and get some durian with some sticky rice. I think you could yell, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My grab driver is so nice. If you just learn a little bit of language here and talk to the people, well, even when you don't speak the language, they're just so friendly, but when you really connect with them with language, it's amazing. We just 
had a little conversation on the way here. He's super friendly. I didn't even want to take a picture with me. I don't know. It's just, it's just crazy how friendly the people are. But we overshot where I need to go, so we're walking back a little bit, and we'll walk up on the uh, soy souring or the durian sticky rice. Oh, they got all times you can get. You can actually get the sticky rice stuffed inside the jackfruit. You can get the soy or with the mango. But you know, I kind of go souring. Okay, so I didn't see this, but you can actually pick from 40 to 100,000. Of course, the higher, the more salading you get. I just went with 60, I guess. I don't know. She said I'd get like this piece right here, so that's good enough for me. And only takeouts available, but luckily we're next to this little area right here where I'm just gonna get a coffee and relax. Ah, that's all you need right here. Get you a drink and you're good to go. Oh, and there it is, that glorious durian, so y'all. I went ahead and upgraded. I went ahead and just got the 100 because it's like we're here, we're all the way in Dunbin. You might as well just get it all out. I do believe the rice is this color because I cook it with the durian as well, or at least it was the time before when I had it. Also, you get the coconut sauce with it and then a little sugar and peanut mixture to sprinkle on top. Does anybody want to answer me the riddle of why Cafe Sud at? It's so good no matter where you get it in Vietnam. Fancy restaurant, little strolly cart like this. Just always hits a spot. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, spoon, I'm sorry. That was a bad idea. Break it down. Let's try them in their purest forms right now. So coconut sauce, the sugar, the peanut mixture, all over the sticky rice. Maybe it's just coloring. I really thought they would cook it with some durian to give it even more durian flavor. A little disappointed that it has no durian flavor, but that's okay. I got this big old chunk right here, which I can get after. You know, I think she really does cut them. She replenishes them really well, but this really, this one is so ripe and so creamy. It's the perfect texture for what I love. I wish it had a little bit more bitterness. It's purely sweet, but it doesn't mean it's not absolutely delicious. What I love too is you're getting that coconut sauce on it. You're getting some texture from the actual granules of sugar. Yeah, now we need to do the right thing and get that all working together. She knows she's gonna be pairing that with a lot of sweet things because I think she's actually throwing a lot of salt in there or something to give it that salty component. So you're just getting a nice salty sweet. It's light, it's not too sticky. It's not as sticky as maybe like a Lao or a Thai sticky rice, but more like a glutinous sticky rice. This is straight Money Bite 101. You just get everything together in one big old bite. I think I realized something. I don't eat enough durian sticky rice in my life. Wow. Watch out mango sticky rice. You got durian sticky rice. This durian is so creamy. It's creamier than most durian I get in my desserts. The evil plastic spoons with the sticky rice are back. I just need to invest in a spoon. Yeah. Phenomenal. I literally told myself after I ordered it, I said, Max, whatever you do, do not eat all of this in one sitting. Save it, save it for later. What I do? 
I ate it all. Why? Because you can't stop until there's none left. I don't know if that's just something I enjoy a lot or if it hit the spot or if it is that good. More of the story. Come right over here, buy you some, and try it out for yourself. All right, and we're here at the last place, just opening up. Actually, I guess officially it hasn't even opened up yet, but there's people over there, they're eating, so that's a good enough sign for me. Let's head over and cross the street. Kathy, I'm not done with you. No, don't forget. Okay. Yeah, don't worry. And here's what it is, a bowl filled of some crazy ingredients if you're not used to it. You see what they're most famous for right here, the huit or the blood cake. You can see they got the long hyal, which is going to be the pork innards. And then you actually got some brain here as well. <laughs> oh, and these are the bowls right here. Oh, that is everything inside the pig that you can think about. Look at that broth with the blood cakes in there. You cannot even see through that. That is so rich, so thick. There's so much going on in there. There's no real aroma coming from it. It's nothing that makes your mouth water besides the beauty of it. This is what today has been about. This is what I've been waiting for all day. I'm just lost for words. I'm so excited right now. good. So there's no choice here. I do not see any noodles. This is pure bun mi. You take it, you dip it, and you get into this. It just makes me think that broth is going to be nothing but flavor packed. I do want to pay the respects. You know, last thing you want to do come to a foreign country and be disrespectful. Let's try the broth. Wow. I couldn't mistake her for my mother. That is just down home, long, slow, lots of flavorful ingredients all in one pot, cooking for a long time. Let me go back in just to, just to double check, just to make sure it's that good. Yep, I like that it's oily enough. It's gonna kind of coat your lip, coat your mouth, so that flavor is gonna stay on your palate for a little while. That ginger, I know I kind of scooped from the top, but that ginger is a main component. I feel like it plays with that intense pork flavor. It's a little salty. It's really a lot sweeter than I thought it was going to be as well. I need to shut up. I need to get one me into this. This is the first Saigon bun me I've had since being back. It's been too long. I'm ready to shut up. I, I just want to keep eating. Now, I'm going to go for what's their prized possession, which is that blood cake. I mean, when you got it in the name of your establishment, it's got to be good. Get it right there as a little chili, a little McMom. Was that a pig blood cake or was that super soft, silky tofu? My goodness. That is flavor packed. That is soft. That turns into a creaminess. That is just un real that's why people are getting a seat here before they even open let me tell y'all something that was a money bite i don't care what you get if you get some of that blood cake in there it's going to be a money bite and he got a hunch for this one you're going to get it all over you i tell you what all those ingredients have been cleaned super well there's nothing funky or off tasting coming from any of these ingredients the overall broth a little bit sweeter than I would like. I understand the large amount of ginger because the broth is a little bit sweeter, but we can fix that. Just need a little more lime, a little more chilies, and we'll get there. See, easy fix. We're getting somewhere now. This is becoming special. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what we do. I'm gonna find that braid, spread it on that bun me, like a little pate, and get the star of the show, that blood cake. I have seen the light, I have been enlightened. That is like nothing or no other blood cake I've ever eaten before. And I don't want to go back to those other versions. Wow. Yeah. 
Now y'all, let me tell you something. I could sit here and talk to you and talk to you and talk to you. But you know what says more than a thousand words? Action. That's right, we got an extra order of the blood cake. Just look at that. Look at that unbelievable texture. I'm calling this right now best blood cake in Saigon. Maybe all of Vietnam. If blood cake's your thing, you gotta come try this. Mm. Hot. Actually, I'm just gonna build flavor. I'm gonna transfer it from one bowl to the next. Get that bomb me in there. Enjoy the rest of this. Mm. When I come back here, I tell you exactly how I'm gonna order. One bowl, not bad. Get extra blood cake, extra brain. Remember, actions speak louder than words. Well, if you want to have a if you want to have a roadside family style meal, you go there. Not only from the delicious cooking and the way it tastes, but to the lady yelling at her kids. I mean, you'll feel like you're in a Vietnamese home. That's a lot of fun. Uh, it's pouring. It's storming. That's all I got for today. Anyways, y'all, I got to figure out how to get home. They're getting ready for a busy crowd. It is so hot when it rains here. I don't know why. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll catch you at the next time. We got a lot more coming from Saigon. And it's about to get really special, so make sure to stay tuned. Peace.